This is a prophetic word of the Lord to Trinan Tobago, given to me by the Spirit of the Lord on the 27th of June, 2024. On the morning of Thursday, June 27, I heard a pronouncement in the Spirit against Trinidad, which stated, Let Trinidad be crucified. Later, about 11.30 a.m., the prophetic word came forth. For too long, my people in this nation, Trinidad and Tobago, have been oppressed. For too long, the enemy has had his foot on their neck, silencing them from doing what I have called them to do. Trinidad and Tobago, do you not know who you are, who I have called you to be? I have called you to be a beacon of light for the nations of the earth. You are to represent me and no other God, but you behave like harlots and pollute your land with all that is unclean. Your young men have gone astray and many have turned themselves into women. They have followed the lust of their heart and denied me the true and living God. Homosexuality, lesbianism, idolatry, white color crimes, human trafficking, murder, drug abuse, prostitution, pornography, and many more are rampant in your land. O oh, Trinidad, I have warned and warned that my judgment will come upon your land and only a few of you have taken heed and turned from your wicked ways. O oh, Trinidad, the nation I have chosen to call after my name. Judgment has been pronounced against you for your wickedness has come up before me as an unpleasant stench. Repent, I say repent, or else woe unto you, O little nation of mine. Turn from your wicked and sinful ways or great hardships and punishment will come upon your land. To my church in this nation, it is time for you to stop pointing the finger at the ungodly and the wayward. For you too have not done what is required of you in the measure that is expected of you. For too long you have sat on the sideline and allowed the enemy to run your nation. Do you not know who you are? I have called you to represent me on the earth. But many of you hide yourselves from the commotions that happen in your land and point the finger in secret. Speak out against injustice, I say. Your voice ought to be the loudest in the nation. Speak out against the corruption in your land. Speak out against the number of lives that the enemy has stolen from your land. Speak out. The earth is crying out for the innocent blood that has been spilled in this land. Trinidad and Tobago, bend your knees and acknowledge me as your Lord. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and there is no other God besides him. Your time is running out, O little nation of mine, before judgment manifests upon you. For you have grieved my heart. Repent, I say, repent, and turn from your wicked and sinful ways. For the earth will be shaken, and mountains shall crumble and fall, and the water shall come in and flood your land. Repent, I say, repent. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Let those who have ears to hear, hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Amen. Agree with me as I make the following declarations over Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that Trinidad and Tobago has risen to fulfill her divine calling as a beacon of light to the nations. We declare that Trinidad and Tobago represent the true and living God, rejecting all forms of idolatry and uncleanness. We declare that a spirit of repentance has come over Trinidad and Tobago and hearts have turned away from wickedness to seek the Lord. We declare that the people of Trinidad and Tobago have turned from homosexuality, lesbianism, idolatry, white color crimes, human trafficking, murder, drug abuse, prostitution and pornography and are walking in righteousness. We declare that a judgment pronounced against Trinidad and Tobago has led to repentance and restoration. We declare that God's mercy has prevailed as the nation has humbled itself, prayed, sought his face, and turned from wicked ways. We declare that a church in Trinidad and Tobago has risen to her calling, becoming a loud and clear voice against injustice and corruption. We declare that the church is no longer sitting on the sidelines, but is actively engaging in spiritual warfare, standing against the enemy's plans. 
we declare that as the people of Trinidad and Tobago have humbled themselves and prayed, the Lord has heard from heaven, forgiven their sins and healed their land. We declare that the earth no longer cries out against Trinidad and Tobago for the innocent blood spilled in this land as justice and righteousness are established. We declare that the people of Trinidad and Tobago have bent their knees and acknowledged Jesus Christ as Lord, confessing that there is no other God besides him. Amen. We declare that Trinidad and Tobago are experiencing a revival of true worship and devotion to the true and living God. We declare that despite the pronouncement of judgment, God's protection is upon those who have repented and sought him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We declare that the people of Trinidad and Tobago are experiencing a season of prosperity and divine favor as they align with God's will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we praise you and we thank you for establishing all of our declarations. In Jesus' name, amen.